Brand new adventure today. We're deep in the heart of Virginia, somewhere. And we're gonna look for Civil War relics, colonial relics, and some house sites here. Uh, Dan and Pete are our hosts today. And uh, we have high hopes we're gonna find a few things at least. So we're walking through the pine forest. We'll spread out. And we're going to a house site. An old home site back here somewhere. Falling looks very cozy. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. it's cold. <laughs> we're, we're not in a natural environment, I'll tell you now. <laughs> okay, so here's the little rundown. A, this is a pit I left for you. Yeah. Pulled pipe stem out of it. China. This is the uh, old tool on the stump that I left there. If you don't dig it out, Bo will dig it out. And I will definitely help Bo dig it out. Um, there's a house site, and there may be two. I think it's one big site. Already finding stuff. I haven't oh, hardly turned my it? machine on. <laughs> gotta get myself okay. warmed up here. I gotta start finding oh, stuff. Wow, dude. My skin, right? First hole of the day. I really? Like oh, wow. I have to do that. I have to dig my first hole of the day. Congratulations, young man. Yeah, I'm just starting right here by the little hole. I haven't got any signals yet. This is the first signal of the day that I'm going to dig. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm hunting with first. Got the Garrett AT Max, zero mode, zero discrimination. Two bars on the uh, batteries. Uh, I'll just stick with that for a little bit. Uh, maximum sensitivity. Awfully big. Right there. That's a can lid. <laughs> oh, well. That's, oh, what is that? Is it human? See some bones sticking up. Uh, yeah, old deer, I guess. Yeah, it's an old deer. Poor thing. Some uh, hunter probably shot it and it ran off and died. Very sad. Okay, here's some hair right there. First target of the day. Not as good as Steve, but it's early yet. All right, here's the first target that actually sounds like it could be a button or something. You hear a lot of iron in here. Um, you can hear that. But if you listen, I got it on zero, so you can hear a lot of all that grunting. That's iron. Uh, but this target sounds like there's a little target in here, right there. You can hear iron to the side, but I have high hopes for this little thing right here. Hopefully, it's like a little button. Fingers are absolutely frozen. I see some iron staining. You see that uh, brown right there? That's a nail. It's all falling apart, but. I think a squeaking we're hearing is not that, okay? I think there's gonna be something else in that hole. Here's some iron, iron. Yeah, it might be just to the side or a little bit deeper. <laughs> Jeez. I suspect there's gonna be a button in there. Something like that. Boy. All right, here it is over here. I think I can see it. I think it's a shotgun shell more iron this is probably it right here looks a little different yeah something oh what is that that is i think it might be a spout to a canteen possibly or a spout to something anyway now there is civil war uh stuff in this area i'm not sure about that all right let's try this one together right in here something yeah try to cut some of this here All right, hopefully that got it out of the hole. No. That's loose dirt. Uh, not yet. All right, so it's either like right in the edge here or straight down. All right, it's out of the hole right there. Do you see it? I'm going to take these gloves off. Oh, it's in my hand. All right, what is that? That is a doodad. Look at that. Definitely what we're hearing. It's a little brassy thing. Almost looks like part of a lantern, I would suppose, but I'm not 100% on it. All right. I wouldn't say we're officially on the board yet, but we're getting closer. So, Doug Silver, and that's what I saw sticking oh, out of the edge. dude. What is it? Ah, it's a silver button. Yeah, that's Solid so silver. nice. I mean, I like it. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But I thought it was going to be a real. Yeah. That's a good sign, though. That means they had money here, huh? Oh, yeah. You yeah. got anything yet? Got this doodad. Nothing real good. Oh, doodad. 
I like it. Uh, please don't tell me it broke already. <gasps> what is it? Parts that's falling apart. Some sort of a pendant with a chain. Oh, that's I'm cool. I'm not going to clean it off yet. And largey. Oh, is that a uh, coin? Uh, it's either going to be a coin or it's going to be a button. I think it's okay, a button. Okay, yeah, it'll look kind of a weird size. Like, must, I guess it could be a farthing or something. Uh, yeah, so I'm digging a few things, but nothing great yet. It's a cool little target right here. This, do you know what it is? That, my friend, is a key. A key to treasure. Unfortunately, I think the end's broken off right here. So it wouldn't, wouldn't work very well for a secure lock, would it? But yeah, it's a brass key. Awesome. So I just dug a 22 bullet, fired. And Dan's over there digging something. I wonder who's going to win this competition. 22 bullet? Yeah, 223 fired. <laughs> So you're really, this is like a long rifle. <laughs> I win. Yeah, okay, you win. Oh, this is a harder target to find, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, you still win. Well, it's not a competition I'd be proud of, though, Dan. <laughs> you just a... never know. Oh, that sounds good. 82, 85. What do you think it is? I hope, I hope it's not one of those tree tags. Oh, yeah, I should show you those. I don't think I should have been finding a lot of these things. Um, these little green tags. I guess these are aluminum, aren't they? Yeah, they, I'm hoping it's not one of those. Yeah, and they put them on uh, trees. Uh, hunters do so they can find their tree stands, shine a light on it, and they glow. And uh, that's been my fear when I get those good signals. It's uh, out the hole, whatever it is. <laughs> that sounds too, that's too small for one, isn't it? Oh, no. Uh, what is it? It's a lock. It's a gun. So, hook the lid. I think it was. Oh wow! Yeah, it looks but just like it would be. Uh, then once I start popping it off, it's the shank. That's a big old target, though, huh? Yeah. Anything on the face? Ball. Huh? Any eagles on the face? Don't GWs? Man. I don't want to clean it. <laughs> Suspense. Yeah, I can't do that. I get out the. Uh... Yeah, you're tearing them up. <laughs> no. No, stop that. <laughs> so we have a little bit of color in this hole right here. Looks like, oh, shotgun shell. <laughs> Dude, I thought, thought it might be a thimble when I first saw the edge of it. Uh, just a shotgun shell. Kind of hard to see with the glare, but I'm at this, uh, the point of land, uh, not too far from where we just were. And look at the uh, scaffolding. That is one expensive deer stand right here. I guess they had it set up here so they could watch the little deer running through the bottom down there. I don't think I've ever run into real life scaffolding like that for deer stand. All right, let's go back where the relics are. They're back up in that way, that direction there. For some reason, once oh, it's I a little the top, tiny yeah, button. Once I took the top off, yeah. it's screened. That's cute. Hmm, domed, I bet you that uh, could be something. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Spit on it. See something on the edge right there sticking off? Yeah. I think that could be an eagle cuff. Uh, it's one piece? Mm hmm. Ooh, one that would be tough off. if it was one piece. I say spit on, I was just kidding, by the way. Got yeah. another one. Nice. Uh, it's not really squeaking, but it was when I was uh, a little bit lower to the ground. So we'll just take some of this stuff back. This was also in the pine cross. Yeah, now, now we'll know for sure. Nope. No, that's iron. Iron. Got a little squeak there somewhere, but if I don't have a good signal right now, I'm going to leave it. Yeah, it's a little bit of a squeak right there. Iron, iron, iron. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dig that up. <laughs> we'll get right back with you. So we're back kind of where we started and uh, Dan's got a little pit going here we're gonna dig out. It had some pottery and some other stuff. I don't know, did you find anything in here the other day when you are here? You found that? Cool Which, lettuce too. Yeah. And some pottery and a pipe stem. I think it's a sickle. And there's definitely a different layer here. Oh yeah. And uh, it's got some brick schmear right there. Oh, no, it. no. Yeah, I haven't seen any brick in here when I've know. been digging. Hey, it's a, a piece of glass. Can I look game. at that? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> yes, this is a I'm going to let you dig it because I'm going to rest for a few minutes. <laughs> eons ago? Eons ago. How long's an eon? I don't know. As long as you want to be. I can't remember how long an eon. No, it's actually, I think it's I a know, set it's day, like an epoch and an eon. <laughs> eon, is that uh, charcoal, you think? Or? That's it. All right. 
We'll get back with you in a minute, or I'll bring you back out as soon as we start finding all kinds of gold coins. And we're going to wrestle, arm wrestle over the best of them, and then whoever loses is going to whack the other one on the head and run. I've got the shovel <laughs> and the bigger arm. He, he outweighs me by about 100 pounds, so I think he's going to win. <laughs> I, at first, I thought that was like a cigarette pack, but I guess it's just bark. Uh, so, yeah, we're finding some stuff in there. Um, well, just mostly burned stuff, but this is a piece of iron. See the iron in there? You can see where it's all leached out into the uh, sand and stuff around. I guess yeah. a brick. Yeah, so a piece came out earlier. A piece there. Just That's a bullet. bullet. No, it's not a bullet. It looks like a bullet, doesn't it? Look at it that. Yeah. <laughs> this is a our rut. Do you say rut? But you can look at the charcoal right there. Yeah, definitely. The charcoal is on like that really uh, yellow hard pan too, so that would I guess clear it out like a floor of some yeah. sort and something burned over the top of it. All right, so we're working this way because it seems to be trending down and we're finding a little bit more stuff, nothing good yet. That's a stem to like a, I guess like a, some type of glass, yeah. right? And that's nice. Oh, nice big piece of green bottle glass. Let's look at that. Can I see it in a second? Yeah. I'll show you something. Behold. Okay, see it. Let's look at this. Oh, that's actually kind of cool looking at the sun with it. Uh, nice, that green color. Beautiful stuff. And um, I think Dan broke the bottle, but the rest oh, of us right in there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He didn't break it, it was already broken. <laughs> that's yeah, roots. Yeah, you got a machine in here? Some brick. Yeah, let's turn the machine on and uh, just see if there's anything beeping we heard some iron in there but um oh that's pretty quiet a little bit of iron there might be something there let's listen to the stuff he dug out real quick and in there over here no squeakers no not yet squeakers. except for me might be something in there i think right in there all right we'll get back with you as soon as we find that big old coin it snaps it's probably still more there just whiteware oh, yeah what will that date to you think? I think this, I mean, so far right. what I'm seeing here is probably early 1800s. Gave up. We're done. All right, so we're going ahead and we're filling the hole back in. This is the kind of stuff that we're finding. Mostly just, you know, a little bit of broken glass, a little, like a teacup or something there, I suppose. Yeah. Um, really not a lot. No good iron, no good uh, non fair signals. So we're going to move on. New spot. Got a happy little signal right here and it's out of the hole. So I thought we'd go ahead and look at it together. Oh, lucky! It's a spoon. Ooh, that's oh, that's a computer spoon too. Yeah, just a little handle for it. Yeah, here. Wait, I'll drop it on there. There you go. Yeah, so it's pretty oldie, huh? Yeah. Probably older same. than me. I don't know about that. It's only 1700. Yeah. Little Peter spoon handle. Yeah, we're gonna work our way back to the vehicle and go to another spot, I think. Quarter. Washington quarter. Right. That's, that's what I thought. Is it really? That's I've read just like a Washington oh. quarter and it was deep and I dug it up and what do you think of that one? Sort of I see. I think it's gonna be a button, but it's it I mean it's got that one look where it could be an early like British copper. Yeah, I'm going with copper in on that one. You're going with copper? Oh yeah. I'll go with oh, the copper. Yeah. I'll go for the best, man. If you don't know for sure, <laughs> you digging anything you else? Got, you oh, you got some buttons, buttons didn't yeah. you? I got one eagle button and a uh, couple other buttons. A little buckle thing. Okay. I had to put my glove on because my hands are so bloody. <laughs> you didn't bust your eagle button, did you? Oh, yeah. It was in pretty sad shape when oh, it came out. Yeah. yeah, okay. That's pretty nice. That thing is. That's a piece of pewter. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice octagonal. Show the good yeah. side, man. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, doing good. I'll be back at the truck. The batteries you gave you are dying. Oh. It's, it's, I got enough to go make this loop, but I'm okay. not. Okay. Yeah, so we're in a new location now, um, slightly different part of the farm. And my very first target is a thimble, the kind you would wear on your finger when you're sewing. And just now dug it. I'm a small one. But it's a good sign, at least. I have a very strange target here. It's gigantic. It reads really high on the meter. It's a good solid squeaker, but it's, it's deep. I can hardly hear where the pin point. Well, let me just show you. Let's get anywhere near this whole area. It's like gigantic signal. 
I don't know what it's reading on the meter. Let's look what it's reading on the meter here. Look at that. It's reading like 90s. Um, barely starting to get on the pinpointer right there. So, very big and very deep. See, so, so getting it over here a little bit. Over in this area. Not so much there. So, something here is either a bronze cannon or a hubcap off of a car. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna dig on it a few minutes and get back with you. So I have it partially exposed and I know what it is already. Um, let me take a look at it, see if you do. This is where I was getting the signal when I first started digging, but the pinpointer brought me over to here. If you look, he's a piece of iron right here, slightly curved. So what I'm digging is a wheel off of a wagon. This is the, uh, the, the iron strap. It's going to go all the way around. That's why it's such a huge signal like that. And being round, it's just like freaking the metal detector out. Kind of like it's freaking me out. And that's all it is going to be. It's going to be uh, part of a wagon wheel. Might be hub in the center. I don't know. We'll dig it out a little bit. If it's any more exciting, I'll show it to you. Otherwise, I'll just cover it up. All right, that's it for me. Uh, let me show you what we've got here. This is a nice, thick piece of iron. And uh, you can see how it's shaped there and kind of bevel there. It's all the way around. I can absolutely guarantee that's off a wagon wheel. Could be a Civil War wagon, like an artillery wagon, or just something where they were carrying supplies. Big Civil War camp right here. So hopefully we'll find a few things. Gotta go. It's probably Steve calling me. We'll see you in a minute. I'm just about 10 feet from where I dug the wagon wheel. And I just dug this big old thing. No idea what it is. Heavy piece of iron. A little bit of curvature to it. I'm just not sure. Whee! A nice little signal in this pile right here. And, uh, well, it, it's not ferrous. But look, you got some of that blue, uh, <laughs> hopefully you can see it. Uh, some of that feather ridge. Old pottery from like the early 1800s, 1700s. But there's something in here. It sounds like it could be something. It's kind of small though. It's probably, I can see it right there, look. 22 bullet. No. <laughs> Can't <you> see it. <laughs> yeah, it's not very good. Sorry. That was pretty though. So it's getting kind of late in the day and um, I haven't seen anybody in a long time. I just kind of took off on a long hike. Have not found hardly anything good. Uh, but I did found this I just found this curious little bullet. Let me show it to you. It looks like a, just a fired bullet. But if you turn it over, <laughs> look at that. I suspect... That's not fired so much as maybe melted on something. I don't know why there'd be... Uh, somebody's calling me. Um, I don't know why there'd be those lines in it, but... Let me grab the phone. So, I uh, kind of moved out into the field here, and this is really the first thing I've found that's any good. Well, it's not even any good, really, but I believe this is a uh, rifle bullet. Very small. And about the only thing I know that would shoot something like that would be a 17B. Like Bumblebee! <laughs> 17 caliber. Pretty sure that's what it is. Just dug this beautiful axe head. Wow, that's a nice one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a nice one. I guess I'll have to take it since that's all I'm finding. Starting to get a little bit on the dark side, so I guess we're going to have to be heading back soon, but... Got a little doodad in my hand. Not really sure what it is. I thought it was going to be a bullet, but I don't think it's going to be now. Oh, look out, dude. Dude. The thimble. And it's either silver, pure silver, or aluminum. I'm not sure which. Probably silver. This is an old, old house site right here. This might be my best find of the day. Think. So maybe it's off of a tractor tire. <laughs> that is a um, thimble, and I'm almost positive it's going to be silver because like, this is a very early house site. Okay, so I cleaned it up just a little bit. I'm going to leave the dirt in there so it gives it some uh, some strength. But that's a beautiful little silver thimble. Can't tell if it has any uh, maker's marks on it, but boy, that's a gorgeous piece right there. I like it. Look how small it is. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's almost the end of the day. Let's find a gold one next. That's where I found the thimble. And I just dug a pewter spoon handle right there. At least I think that's what that is. 
99.9% sure. It's pewter anyway, I do know that. All right, we're on it now. <laughs> right at the end of the day. That's where I dug the uh, silver temple. I dug the spoon here. And there's a uh, got a good signal over here, just to the side, and it started clearing the leaves out, and it was already dug. There's um, the dirt had already been disturbed. Somebody had already tried to dig that today, uh, but I don't think they went deep enough. So I went ahead and dug it some more, and there's a decent signal right in here. Now they may have gotten something out of the hole already. I don't know, or this could be junk that maybe they just threw back. But we're gonna find out together. Good signal. All right, let's see. Is it in here? Nope. I think it's, uh, is that it? I think it's gonna be all right. Oh no. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, it's something. <laughs> I guess it's like copper maybe. Copper or, uh, it's not zinc, it's copper for sure. I don't think they went deep enough. Look, there's some ashes on there too. There's another piece of it where it broke off. It's not a lid. All right, let's dig around. We're gonna to listen to that and look around here some more. Uh, we'll probably have about another half hour at least before it starts to get dark. You can see the sun's starting to set, but we got some time yet. Oh no, this is a silent movie now. No, I mean the voice turn on. Oh no, I hate that. Yeah, because it comes on by itself when you're talking to people. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what you get? A nice little seat of dime. Oh, that's a cutie. What's the date on it? 1876. Not 76. as old as I would like, but... What's the back look like? One dime. Yep. That's a nice one. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Got some buttons and stuff. Got some buttons. Got a nice little drop some right. bullet. Looks like a plow hit the little bullet there. The shovel hit the little bullet there. Now I'm going to put my relics away. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. That's very nice. <laughs> that's awesome, man. You did good. You yeah. did good. Here, check this out. Ooh, dude, that's nice. Shiny, huh? I like that. Yeah. Trade you my coins for that. <laughs> no. That's not, not a million. Coin. Oh, I guarantee it. For That's people not. in the know, the craftsmanship we in the know. Well, there's, a, there's a size number on it. Did you see that? No, I, didn't, I couldn't. I can't see, Dan. Geez, I'm blind now. You see it now? It says five. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a five. What does that mean? It's a size. Four. The size of a thimble. Size of five. It's small on the inside, isn't it? It's kind of like S M X L L back in the day. Is it a five or an S? <laughs> I'm going to guess it's like an M. It's a five. You see it? I, like I, was, I thought he was really cool looking. Dude, though. I like that. Yeah, that that's is nice. Ooh. Let me make of that. He's got a little, uh, little slider. Slider some sort, sort, yeah. Unfortunately, it did not come out, of the, <laughs> come out of the spot you wanted us to find something in. It didn't? No, it came out of the roadway. Mm. Sorry about that. I failed you, Dan. You have. What we're trying to do, Dan says he's never found anything like right behind us in the woods where we're standing. He's found tons of stuff, and over there, tons of stuff. But nothing right but there. Nothing right there. And we both went over there for about 15 minutes. Yeah. Didn't find anything. Step back in the road. Relic. <laughs> well, I think I did it. I am technically in the pines in this triangle where Dan's never found a relic. And I just found a pewter spoon handle, which is definitely a relic. It's not a button, but it's definitely a relic. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets, she's promised to keep hidden in her 
under or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. All right, let's go see.